Jumbo, 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 no! Hi guys, number one question I get asked most often by parents of music students is how do I get young Johnny to practice his instrument? Although I complain that my daughter loves coming for lessons, however, getting her to practice is a totally different thing. Does it sound familiar? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can do effective music practice by dedicating only 15 minutes of practice per day. Not one hour, but only 15 minutes is all that is needed to establish some good practice habits. My advice is this. First of all, make music practice a daily routine part of your child's homework. After all, most kids must do homework, so why not add music as an important regular part of homework that also must be completed. Another tip is, try changing the phrase of Johnny go practice your guitar to Johnny let's go play some guitar. Encourage your child to play rather than practice. You'd be amazed how a change of phrase makes kids see music as an enjoyable activity rather than a chore. My final tip and the most important one will help your child do their daily practice in the most effective and efficient way in no more than 15 minutes per day. Okay, so let's look at a typical 15 minute practice session and divide it into three five minute parts. When you break your child's daily practice into five minute lots, you can focus on different types of study every five minutes, making practice structured, but most importantly, fresh. In the first five minutes, have your child go through some technical work such as scales, sight reading exercises and warm up activities. Let's call the first five minute section the technical work section. The next five minutes should be dedicated to practicing pieces that your child was given by their teacher. In this section, your child should be going through some new pieces and every now and then also play some old pieces. Every piece a musician learns should become part of their repertoire and never be forgotten. Let's call this section the playing pieces section. Following this, the last five minutes is dedicated to the child having free time on their instrument where the child can do practically anything they want. This last five minutes is always most enjoyable. Your child can continue practicing their pieces, they can work on a song they've been writing, or they can improvise a little bit, try play by ear that hit song they heard on the radio. They can play some of their old pieces they haven't played in a while. The options are endless. The key is to have as much fun during this free period. What you'll find is that after a little while, the student ends up having so much fun playing on their instrument that the last five minute period ends up being much longer. They ultimately end up playing 10 minutes, 15 minutes and more. And that's when students start enjoying playing their instruments and really start learning. I hope you find these tips useful in getting your child to regularly commit to playing every day. Let me know how you're going in the comments below and have a musical week.